thrilled to be uh, with you today, investors and innovators, and we need you to keep going. So just a little bit about DHL supply chain. Uh, we're the leading third-party logistics provider in the world. So we provide warehousing and transportation services for our customers and a variety of industries. So when a customer comes to us, they will tell us where they buy their product, manufacture their product, and where they will ship it to. And then we design solutions, warehousing, transportation, to balance labor with service levels. So that is what we do. We have a large presence in Ohio, as Nick mentioned. Our headquarters is here for North America. In the state of Ohio, we employ about uh, 4,300 people and another 2,500 during peak. And in the US and Canada, we have about 500 sites employing roughly 50,000 people. So labor, as you heard from the first session this morning, is very important to us. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is the changing world we live in, particularly what the consumer is doing and how that and digitalization is impacting the supply chain. I'm going to talk a little bit about where we see the future going and what technologies we're monitoring and seeing the most use of in supply chain. So with that, uh, sorry, if you could play the video to start. Yikes, I don't know what is more disturbing, the attention span or um, the whole toothbrush thing. But um, so the, the consumer is changing what they want, how frequently that they want it. And we talked about that um, in a couple sessions this morning. So that impacts the supply chain. So we are moving uh, in the industry to a fully digital supply chain. It used to be, like we call it trucks and sheds in the industry, warehouses and, and trucks, where we operated kind of in silos without mu using much of our data. Then in the last three or four years with companies like yourselves in the room, we've been able to digitalize processes and implement cobots to help reduce travel time. Um, associates in our facility 80% of their time is spent traveling. Um, we are moving uh, in the future to connecting all material handling equipment and associates and the warehouse and all truck information together to better see the supply chain in a holistic fashion. And with that will become more transparency for our customers on what is happening and more flexibility of what we can provide with a fully automated warehouse. So with that, we've talked about the labor market 
and what this is causing in terms of the talent pool that we have to employ. Uh, I firmly support the comments made that people will not be replaced entirely by uh, robots, automation. There will be more work to do based on the nature of how we see the industry changing. What it does tell us is we have to have adaptable problem solvers to integrate this technology together. It is not in full maturity mode and it will take uh, several years to get there. Part of what we've done in, is to establish a digital culture and change the way we look at things to be um, more, uh, I'm trying to think of the word, but better at getting our hands on things and working with startup companies to develop products that will help our operations be more productive. Our customers are requiring this because the consumer is requiring it. We're seeing the need for more frequent, smaller shipments at a much faster pace than we have ever before. So that's impacting our service to our customers. In terms of the digital disruption of different industries, you know, we've watched media, telco, retail, automotive. We believe right now that Logistics and supply chain is, is in the middle of major disruptive waves. So I'm going to show you here some of the technologies just as a visual and then I'll explain them all. So Locus, as you've seen here. These are technologies that we're piloting in different sites all across the world. Augmented reality. Vecna Daniels here. Gray orange. So hopefully that visual gave you an idea of what it looks like inside of some of our facilities. And what you probably saw was a variety of different robotic solutions that we're assessing. And there are pros and cons to each technology, and we have to determine where they best fit in our sites. So you saw augmented reality there. We are working with uh, Google Glasses and a heads up display to display an image to the associate to help them determine what to pick and where to put it. That helps training on boarding time. It also increases their productivity and increases the quality. We're using that a lot in the health care space. Assisted picking robots. We're working with probably three companies uh, in North America and have uh, a couple hundred bots deployed. You know, this technology is you know, further uh, through our innovation uh, funnel and is very helpful um, for e-commerce type each pick operations. Uh, I think robotics process automation was mentioned. We're using that for back office um, support for our transport operations. So non-value added activity that associates are doing to pull a bill of lading off a carrier website or respond to an email. We can use RPA and then put machine learning on that just to continue to take that non-value added work out of the hands uh, of associates and have them do um, stuff that's more impactful to our customers. You know, the consumer is our customer and as well as our employee and by 2025, 75% uh, of the workforce will be millennials, so those born after 1980. They grew up using Google, um, order um, things online, and want to see real-time traceability uh, of everything they do. So we've developed a proprietary visibility tool 
that's API enabled to provide updates to key events in the supply chain. Uh, on the bottom left is what we see as our biggest opportunity, indoor robotic transport. We have approximately 11,000 material handling operators that we employ that are driving vehicles from point A to point B. If we can replace that manual work by an autonomous vehicle, you know, even if it's just 80 to 90% of the time, that is a huge benefit for us. We're working with several co uh, companies to get the technology to where it can provide that coverage. Making data-driven decisions, uh, as I showed in my kind of where we see the industry going, it is a big change for us. Leveraging our data to make better decisions and take that out of site operators. You know, you can view it a little bit man versus machine, but um, the machine can process more inputs and have visibility to more things and make better decisions than someone uh, local to the site. So. We, all, we also see the opportunity to make better decisions on how we attract and retain labor. So taking external data from indeed.com, weather.com, and look at the safety factors of a site, the turnover, the employee um, opinion of that site, we can really predict the turnover of a site. So being able to leverage our data is a big opportunity for us. Cleaning robots, we're working with a company called Avidbot and uh, have had great um, feedback in deploying an autonomous you know, Zamboni machine, if you will, to clean the warehouse floor. So these are just 12 of the things that we see will have big impact on our operations, um, moving to a more digital environment and uh, will be scalable as the technology mature, matures. It is very important that the technology be scalable because once we deploy this, we've taken people out of the building. So if there's an issue and the technology goes down, we can't bring people in fast enough to be able to fulfill our customer orders. So this turns us a bit more into a, a, a manufacturing environment. So uh, my time is about up. The, the clock of death there goes very fast when you're talking. I could talk about this topic for hours and I'm happy to connect here today. We also have a bunch of DHL experts wearing black shirts here if they could raise their hands. And they'd be happy to talk to you about how we're evaluating technologies, how they go through the innovation funnel, how the uh, record um, employment is uh, driving certain behaviors, and uh, more detail on the technologies that I reeled off. So thank you for your attention. And thank you, Drive, for putting together another wonderful dance event.